Hi, I'm Gentry Smith. I've been a Neurophone user since I was 17, so that's 40 years now. You can see and hear my whole story at this YouTube video. For me, one of the most fascinating things about the Neurophone is what happens when people use it in group meditation. Now, when I say group meditation, or specifically group Neurophone meditation, I mean actually connecting one or more people to the device simultaneously. One of the theories of mind is that when you communicate directly with the core of consciousness, it's possible to directly affect your reality and cause dramatic changes in the environment. I believe that the Neurophone allows that access. There's more on this topic in the video. Now, I'm no scientist, but it probably does so by causing instant symmetry between the hemispheres of the brain and may have something to do with increasing neural efficiency, increasing intelligence, and allowing the user to become more aware of external energy fields. I personally believe this has to do with a certain theory of consciousness that states we are all one and somehow linked on the quantum level. Nowadays, with the advent of the neurohacking movement, People are more and more interested in consciousness itself, expanding on both ancient and modern theories of mind, such as those of Julian Jaynes and others. By the way, Julian Jaynes' thesis, The Origin of Consciousness and the Breakdown of the Bicameral Mind, is experiencing a resurgence of interest since it was recently mentioned in the HBO series Westworld. It seems that somehow the power, that is, the effect one feels when using the Neurophone is dramatically enhanced when two or more people have similar intention while connected and listening to the same program at the same time through the device. Now there's a discussion on the power of group Neurophone meditation for creating global change on my Neurophone talk video. The links are in the text of the page that'll take you to the two sections where I discuss this mind linking effect. Now, the amazing quantum mind-linking effect happens whether all in the group are wired to a single neurophone or when people are in remote locations and have individual neurophones connected to a single broadcast. I had my first group neurophone meditation experience about 35 years ago and it was amazing. The group consisted of 12 people connected to a single neurophone listening to guided meditations, ocean waves, and pink noise. At first, I had the fear that I would somehow lose my individuality by linking minds in this way, but the exact opposite is what happened. When I connected with the group, I actually became more in tune with myself. This is experiential. I really can't put it into words. The results speak for themselves. All participants felt a more profound sense of inner harmony. It seemed that the incidence of synchronicity increased dramatically. Intuition peaked and I felt personally able to make better choices, and manifestation took less effort. With Neurophone Radio, I've designed a way for Neurophone users to connect in real time via the internet and experience the exact same results. Imagine the power of linking minds via the Neurophone with others worldwide for positive change. You'd be helping others and yourself simultaneously. It sounds very futuristic and sci-fi, but we have the technology, and the time is now. NeurophoneRadio.com is a web-based virtual Neurophone meditation group platform. It sort of gives new meaning to the phrase global brain or global consciousness. The internet, the cloud, becomes a giant corpus colossum. I tested the theory of using the internet for this purpose about a year ago with the intention of launching soon, but I soon realized I was doing everything myself, the design, programming, server setup, everything. I quickly ran out of resources and had to put the project on the back burner. Well, why now? Well, just a couple of weeks ago, Elon Musk made official his intention to link computers with the brain, an AI initiative to benefit humanity. Now, I laughed simply because when I was 17 or 18, I was already doing that. At that age, I was doing things with my home computer, modem, and neurophone that I couldn't even tell my parents or anyone else about for years to come. Now, that's too much to go into here now, but maybe later. Anyway, about the same time as Elon Musk's announcement, Facebook also announced an initiative to use technology so people could hear through their skin as if it was new news. And yes, I literally laughed out loud when I heard this too because the Neurophone has been around increasing people's intelligence and neural efficiency by letting people listen through their skin since the 1950s. As an aside, not many people know that one of the reasons the 
1962 version of the Neurophone was willfully pulled off the market was because, with use, people were becoming more psychic, and the effect couldn't be explained at the time. I don't know if Facebook is using Flanagan technology in their endeavor, but it'll be interesting to see where the project goes. One thing I want to mention is that no harm can be done to another person via the Neurophone. That's because when one listens to anything via the Neurophone, they become more and more centered. I'll publish an article on the site later, but it's because when listening, the brain's hemispheres go into a very strong synchronization, and the biosystem gets locked into homeostasis, an ideal state for stress management. After a while, that balance becomes profound, and you can't be thrown out of balance. I can tell you the future of the technology is going to be very interesting. I've always said in computers we simply recreate ourselves from the way we use bits and bytes to the way we anthropomorphize everything. Anyway, when I heard the news about Elon Musk's initiative to enhance humanity by linking minds with AI computers or whatever, and Facebook's initiative, I realized the time was right, and it motivated me to get back on the Neurophone Radio project. What Neurophone Radio needs at this time is support, so I'm appealing to all Neurophone users to participate. To make this work, I need to set up a multi-channel streaming media server as a virtual internet radio station whereby members can tune in to regularly scheduled mindful meditation sessions geared specifically for neurophone listening. The folks at DivineSynchronicity.org are letting me use their e-commerce platform for this crowdfunding effort. If all goes well, I think we're about a month or so away from launching. Neurophone Radio is designed to be a donation-funded membership site solely because we need to cover licensing fees for some streaming music and copyrighted guided meditation programs. Once launched, the site can be sustained by ads and sponsorship programs. I have many other interesting futuristic products in development for members which will be announced at the appropriate time. On NeurophoneRadio.com, I will be posting articles and possibly interviewing interesting people, researchers, and neurohackers from around the world with great stories to share via podcast. Here's a rundown of the group Neurophone meditation sessions I had on my original Neurophone Radio test site last year. The platform will have streaming programs on a repeating 12-hour cycle, so the programs that play at, say, 7 a.m. would repeat at 7 p.m., 24-7. So we have Manifestation at 6 a.m. At 7, there's Peace, Love, Harmony, and Abundance. Uh, 8 a.m. is Learning. At 9 a.m., there's Remote Healing. And these programs simply require your intent. For instance, with Remote Healing, you can listen to a calming pink noise while your intention is going out toward uh, sending healing energy to whoever or whatever situation you want. So it's self-directed in that way. 11 a.m. is mantras and affirmations. At 12, there's Phi time. It's listening to Hi-Fi, one of Dr. Flanagan's Fibonacci sounds of recordings. It's, uh, you experience bliss, and bliss is actually for 3 p.m. And 4 p.m. is focus and flow, and we have health and well-being, and uh, 6 repeating manifestation, and 7 peace, love, harmony, and abundance. Now these are all subject to change, and will be completely customer service oriented and open to feedback and so forth. All right. Now, I'd also like to set up an alert system so that when something blows up in the world, instead of getting caught up in the hysteria of the moment, often fed by news media, the alert system would send out a message to Neurophone radio members to immediately tune into a world peace channel, link minds, and focus on world peace. How about that? What if thousands of people linked minds and visualized peaceful solutions? Do you see what we're on to here? For example, let's say in the case of natural disasters like earthquakes, you receive a neurophone radio alert that a 6.0 earthquake has caused devastation somewhere, or a community has been stricken by floods, tornadoes, or even man-made catastrophes such as war. Simply join a virtual neurophone radio meetup via the site, turn on the pink noise, link minds, and think love, peace, and harmony regarding the situation. Yes, link minds via the neurophone and affect change. So if you're interested in helping becoming a sponsor of Neurophone Radio, please choose the level of participation you're most comfortable with. The incentives are still in development, and I'll send updates as these incentives come online. So just choose the amount you're comfortable with, and watch your email for confirmation and updates. Thanks again for your interest in the project. If you have questions, use the link on this page to send a message. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. 
There's an old article floating around the internet about the awesome potential of linking minds with the neurophone. And I heard this story directly from physicist Tom Bearden in the early 1980s. We were at a dinner somewhere in Scottsdale or Chicago or somewhere. Anyway, retired Lieutenant Colonel Tom Bearden is a nuclear physicist from George Washington University. It was reported that he and Dr. Flanagan made two mind links via the neurophone. Now, Colonel Bearden, out of that experience, has developed a mathematical formula that indicates that the combined mind power of a group of people will multiply exponentially if these people are linked in a unitary consciousness. Therefore, a small group of people could actually alter the entire course of mankind if they were perfectly linked in a unified field of consciousness. So, Bearden believes that the neurophone is the key to linking consciousness. Further, he believes that linking minds via the neurophone may hold the answer to solving all the problems of mankind. Now, as futuristic as it may sound, with neurophone radio, the Internet itself would become an electronic corpus callosum between the minds of two or more people. So, if you're interested in becoming part of this amazing new chapter for mankind, support neurophone radio. Visit neurophoneradio.com. Thank you once again for your support.